Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Jasper Report server add-ins for the Isignia uh, monitoring framework. I am going to assume that you have installed Jasper Report server already and that you also have uh, Isignia working with uh, a MySQL backend. If you need help getting either one of those set up, uh, it's kind of outside of the scope of this short video, but you can check out uh, jasperforge.org for Jaspersoft and insignia.org for Insignia. Um, okay, so let's get started. We're going to download the uh, package from the Insignia site. So here where it says Insignia reporting, you can download this. I've already downloaded it onto my desktop. So I'm going to unzip it. Inside of the zip file, you're going to see that there's a report package called you see a report package.zip. I'm going to move that into um, my JasperSoft download. I'm going to actually put it into the buildomatic, and I have an extras folder in there. I've already dropped it in here and sing a report packages. Then in terminal I'm going to use the Jaspersoft um, import utility to import the report package. This should take just a second. Perfect. All right, now that it's installed in inside of JasperSoft, go into repository, and then you're going to see that you have a new Insinga Insinga folder and a subfolder in there is called data sources so this is going to point to the database where Isinga lives so when I press edit here you're going to want to update your host just like I did here to the host where Isinga is running the database if you have a different username and password than the defaults then change those there and you, when you press connect, test connection, you should see connection passed. If you don't, then check to make sure that this uh, connection string is uh, proper there. It's just a JDBC connection. All right, so we press submit. And we that's really all the setup you have to do at this point. Um, for example, if you want to look at host activity, it's going to pick all the uh, host names that you have in your system. Pick a start date, pick an end date, press a, press OK. And now we're seeing um, specifically a view of this report. We can also export it as PDF, for example, if we're interested in uh, something that we can download and print out. OK, that's great. Um, I'm going to do another short video on uh, doing a little bit of work with these reports if you wanted to change them, so stay tuned.